Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we updated the can 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 abilities for both the admin and super admin user roles, where super admin can perform any kind of operation on all resources or can manage all the resources into the application, and the user with role admin can perform only read operation on all the resources. So let's see what was the implementation till the last lecture. So switch to the project directory and into the ability file that you can see that if user is super admin, then he can manage all. Else, if user is admin, then he can read all. Okay. Now, in this lecture, we will update the permissions for the admin user so that an admin user can only perform read and update operation on his own companies, not on other users' company. So, right now, if you can check that if user is admin, then he can perform read on all resources into the application. But uh, if we change this today or in this lecture, then after that change. the admin user will be able to see only his own companies and will be able to update only his own company okay and how we can identify that this company belongs to the admin user with the attribute user id that we added into the company model okay so let's change the abilities for the admin user and update the permissions okay so here what you need to do if admin if user is admin then he can read company here you need to provide model name company and then you need a condition so that if the company's user id matches with the currently signed in user id or the admin user id then he can read that okay so user id matches with the user dot id okay and similarly we can do the same thing for update operation as well so can update company where user id is equal to user dot id okay and after this the current abilities for the admin user had been changed or current abilities for the user with role admin has been changed now he can only read his own companies where the user id matches with his id and now he can update his own company with user id matches with currently signed in user id okay and if you wish you can implement the delete operation as well okay but uh, i am not uh, allowing this admin user or any admin user to delete the companies i am just uh, i just want to keep that permission only for the super admin user okay now let's see the currently signed in user into the postman so switch to the postman after updating your abilities file and into the member details that you can see that i am currently signed in with the super admin user okay and let's check how many companies i have so far in the database so here you can see that this is the companies get request and if i send the request you can see i can see lot of companies into the database and one thing i want to tell you that i created this company into the through the rails console if you wish you can also create so many companies for different user roles okay and then you can try into the postman by accessing them okay and here you can see that i have companies for user id 1 user id 1 and few companies for user id 2 as well okay as you can see at the top okay so it means i have companies for user with id 1 and user with id 2 and both the users have the admin role okay and let me show you that what the roles for the user with id 1 and 2 so switch to the rails terminal okay and if you do not have that then you need to update their roles okay so let's find user dot find 1 and here you can see that user with id1 has the role admin and user dot find 2 so user with id2 also has the role admin okay now we need to check uh, all the companies that uh, exist for the both user1 and user2 respectively okay so what we need to do we need to sign out the currently signed in user that is the super admin user okay so switch to the postman again and here you can see that this is the sign in request so come to the request sorry response header of this sign in request and here you can see that this is the authorization token so just copy that token and we will use this jwt token to sign out this currently signed in user okay so just pass this token as the authorization into the delete request or sign out request and send this and when you send this you can see that user has been signed out successfully by the way i just wanted to let you know that if you are signing out a user then make sure that that user is currently signed in within 2 hours okay if it is signed in already before 2 hours or before days then you need to sign in this currently signed in user again and then you need to use that token to sign out why because i have set it set the expiration time with the jwt token when we set up the device okay and let me show you that how we did that so open the device.rb 
okay and into the device data we come to the bottom and here you can see that jwt dot expiration time is 120 minutes it means 2 hours after 2 hours your jwt token will get expired and you cannot sign out with that user so either you need to sign in with new user or you need to sign in again with the currently signed in user and then use that token from the re response body to sign out that again and sign in with the new user okay so and if you do not do that if your token has been expired already and if you try to sign out using the existing token then you might get 500 error okay so just to prevent that error either sign in with the new user and make sure you are signing within within two hours okay so now let's switch to the postman and here you can see that we have we are signed in signed out with the super admin user and if you visit the member details page now you can see that you need to sign in or sign up before continuing okay so let's sign in with an admin user okay so let's uh, remove that user at that example.com okay and or let me check what is the email of the first user so here you can see user at the rate example.com with id 1 so we will use that so switch to the postman and send this request now and this will sign in this user okay and here you can see into the request body that user signed in successfully and what is the email or what is the user details that user at that example.com and his role is admin and you can check into the member details as well that this user is signed in now okay now let's fetch all the companies okay so because we just uh, change the abilities into the ability.rb and with that what should be happen that if a user is admin user and he is signed in then he can only see his own companies okay or where the company's user id matches with the currently signed in user id or with the admin user id okay but if you visit the company's pages now and send the request you will still get all the companies for both user id 2 and user id 1 as well okay why because we did not change the policy accessible companies into the company's controller or let me show you what i want to tell you that if you open the company's controller from the api controllers so open the company's controller and here you can see we are still referring companies equal to company dot all okay but we need to change this so that admin as admin user can see his own company so what we need to do here replace this company dot all by company dot accessible by and then current com current policy okay so accessible by current policy not policy actually it is ability okay so it's ability why ability because we just change the into the ability.rb but if you using pandit jam rather than ken 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 for authorizing your application and we will do that in some another another tutorial so with pandit jam you need to use policies and with ken ken jam you need to use abilities okay so what we change into the index section that company is equal to company dot accessible by current ability okay here current ability is the helper method in ken 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 which face the currently signed in users ability from the ability dot rb okay so here you can see that what we did in the ability dot rb that if user is admin then he can read all his companies okay so we are fetching its ability into here and now the user can only access his own company so company dot accessible by current ability okay now what we need to do we need to send the request to the company's controller again so switch to the postman and into the postman you need to send this request again and when you send this request now you can see that we are only seeing the companies with the user id 1 user id 1 user id 1 user id 1 and user id 1 so now we can only see the five companies not all companies okay so the companies with user id 2 are not appearing now that means our policy has been worked or our abilities are working for the admin user okay and just see again into the company's controller that company dot accessible by current ability you need to make sure to use this line as you will get all the companies if you use company dot all okay and this is not supposed to happen why because we change the ability into the ability dot rb now what we need to do that we just checked that user if a user is admin then he then he can read his own companies now what we need to check that if a user is admin then he can update his own companies okay so let's try to update the company so here you can see 
it comes into the postman and just to look at the patch request here you can see that company id is 3 okay and user id is 3 now if you send this update request okay so send this update request and you can see okay so could not find company with id 3 so let's see what id we have so here you can see company id 8 9 10 11 okay so let's pass the company id with 7 okay so here you can pass the company id 7 when you pass the company id 7 or when you try to update the company of other user then you will get you are not authorized to access this space or authentication authorization failed error why because this company with id 7 belongs to user with id 2 and here you can see that into the console so find company dot find 7 okay and here you can see what is the user id of this company it is 2 and we are currently signed in with the admin user with user id 1 you can see into the member details so user id is 1 and this user is trying to update the company of other another admin user so we are getting the authorization error okay and now let's try to update uh, this user's company so open the postman again and here you can see with id 9 it belongs to the user with id 1 so let's update this so here you can provide company id 9 and now let's provide my last company private limited okay and now send this request and when you send this request you can see that update request has been made and you can verify it on terminal as well where the server is running so the company has been updated with name my company private limited that means our abilities are completely working fine for both read and update operations okay and we checked that if a user is trying to update another user's company then he is getting the authorization error and you can verify it again let's provide it 6 and when you send it you can see you are not authorized to access this page and we are able to update it again and when we trying to access all the companies then we are fetching only current admins company not all the companies okay so our authentication is working fine here and that's it our abilities are working fine okay now as the slide change into the app ability.rb what you can do just open the ability.rb and here you can see that we added can read and update as separate lines and instead of this line you can do the same thing like this as well so can sorry can and provide the actions as the array so can read and then update okay and then company and then user id as user id this will also work and if you want to provide like this so just to copy this line okay so copy this line and you can and comment this you can do like this as well so just provide the user okay and remove the user id from here okay so this will also work so any of the line of your preference you can choose when you implement such abilities okay and all work fine and you can use the same format for like uh, for example there if there is some blogging applications there and you want to allow users to see only comments of his article only then you can read all the comments where the article id belongs eh, sorry articles user id belongs to the currently signed in user id or if you wish to uh, permit users to update only their articles then you can also use such kind of syntax and such kind of logic there okay so this is the thing that you need to try at your end okay and we achieved that in that lecture okay so thanks for watching this try this at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe